So let's uh, let's bring Lashonda on to the stage right now. Good evening. Tonight, I want to share with you my passion for community engagement. I want you to ponder two questions. Is community engagement important? And does your voice matter? Growing up in the city of Chicago, I had the experience of living, working, and playing in an environment where my voice went unheard and or distorted due to the many challenges we faced. Moving to Wichita, I really embraced the role of a public servant, and I promptly understood the value and importance of ensuring all voices are invited to the table to create a diverse narrative of the needs and wants of our community. I reflected back on my childhood on the south side of Chicago, and I can remember the environment and the lack of opportunity presented for my voice to be heard. And as I did the work here, I recognized that we had that same issue. And so as I engaged in this work, I recognized that I had to ensure that the diverse and needed voices were invited to the table to really help make progress on the issues we faced in our community. As I transitioned into my role at Wichita State, I was given this great opportunity to really dig deeper into my passion and to really build what we call an authentic engagement process to really think about authentic conversations. To be clear, there is a difference between informing and engaging, but they're both critical. Informing is about sharing information without an expectation of a conversation. And engaging is about creating a communication channel. Building authentic engagement is creating a two-way exchange that is built into your framework and everything that you do. What it should not be is just a checkbox experience or activity. It takes time to do community engagement. It's a lot of work, it's a commitment, and we must plan ahead so that we can truly hear the diverse perspectives that we are seeking to get more information from. When we do it correctly, it allows us to go to the table of someone else and have an authentic conversation this idea of inviting people just to your table and to your space, that is no longer acceptable. We have to meet people where they are. We have to meet them in coffee shops, local gathering spaces. We have to use a variety of ways to connect to the voices we desire to hear. When we do it right, we tap into diverse voices and our influencers. So one may ask, how do you do this work? Well, you inform. You listen, you focus, you share, and then you empower. You empower the conversations to be authentic. Informing is education. Informing is making sure that you get in front of your stakeholders early and often. Informing happens at the beginning of your process. Informing is making sure you give the information before you ask for feedback. Informing is about meeting people where they are, filling in the gaps, and creating an environment for a fruitful conversation. And now that we've informed, we have to reposition ourselves to listen. We must listen to understand and not respond. We must listen with an appreciation for the diverse voices that are in our spaces. We must listen so that we can hear all of the voices because it's your turn to give us information and our turn to listen. As leaders, we must listen with an intent to focus on the vo voices that we heard. We want to focus to ensure that our plan resembles the perspectives that we heard in our sessions. We have to focus to develop a plan that people can recognize their voices. We have to focus so that we can speak to the loss of voice when we go and share our plans with the community. And after we have the plan, we must go back and share. We have to re-engage our stakeholders and show how their voices influenced our decisions. Don't miss this step because it's critical. And that is part of being and doing authentic engagement. And now that we've done all the hard work, we must empower our stakeholders to do their part, to be engaged, 
to be authentic, and to be empowered. So my call to action to each of you tonight is to be engaged, to be authentic, and to be empowered because your voice matters.